Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sally. If you guys haven't been here, welcome. We love everyone. So for today's video, we finally got ColourPop in the mail, the new Lizzie McGuire collection. And oh my God, as a little kid, I was obsessed with Lizzie McGuire. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. This, this is like, my childhood fantasy. I absolutely love Lizzie McGuire. Like when I saw this collection come out, I was so excited. I cannot wait. So with further ado, let's get into this Lizzie McGuire collection unboxing. It's like my childhood dreams in a box right now and I cannot. Oh, this came two days ago and I was like, damn you work. Why do I have to go back to work now? For those of you who don't know, I work at Disneyland. Disneyland just told me, hey, you wanna come back to work? I said, hey, yeah, I'm coming. So I came back to work, but I don't even know when, when I could film anymore, but you know what? It's midnight, I found time to film, so we're gonna film this video. Ready? Bam, color pop. Oh my God, look, that's the palette. We got the palette here. Look, look at that. Look, 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 look at that. Wow, look at Lizzie McGuire. I would watch like every episode of Lizzie McGuire when it would come out and the movie. Oh my God, you should ask ask my mom how many times I watched the Lizzie McGuire movie and I made her buy me the Hilary Duff CDs. Isn't that so cool? It's like really spot on with the tie dye and then Lizzie right there. So 2000s look, I match. Cute. I also got the lip scrubby, the little lip scrubby. Look at how cute that is. And I got a blush. Look at the blush. Oh, everything's like denim, like tie-dye denim. Oh, it's so cute. And then I got a little gel cream liner to complete the look. I think this is in a pink color. I was trying to get the lip glosses and then they were in my cart and then I was gonna check out of my cart and it said sold out. And I was like, are you freaking serious? And I didn't even get the Lizzie Miranda ones. I got the Gordo Ethan, I think. I don't remember. But anyways, okay, on launch day was the day, it was the 25th of March. That was the day that I was leaving to Vegas. So literally, like I was I was putting everything in the car, like I was doing my hair and putting everything in the car for us to leave to my Vegas trip. I was literally on my phone. I'm just like, I need to buy this collection. I even set up an alarm and everything. And then I was in the queue, a virtual queue for like 15 minutes and then I got in finally into ColourPop and then I was trying to buy everything literally like this, like really fast. And then it got me in another queue and I waited an extra 30 minutes to check out. And then by the time that happened, the lip glosses were sold out so I'm sorry I couldn't get you guys a lip gloss and I heard they're back in stock which is kind of if you had extra product color pop why didn't you say that from the beginning for now I'm gonna use my own lip gloss because it's just lip gloss you know but I'll put up pictures right here so there was two sets there was a Miranda and Lizzie and then a Gordo and someone else I forgot but I wanted the darker shades because I like the darker colors versus just the clear because I have a lot of clear glosses that was the lip glosses but I couldn't get it for you guys but I will do a tutorial of everything else that I have. So let's get into this tutorial. Lizzie McGuire, hey now, hey now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's open the lip scrub first. This is in Bubblegum Pop. I totally forgot that I ordered a lip scrub, but I already put on lipstick. But look at the packaging. It's Lizzie, it is so freaking cute. Oh my God, I wonder if it smells like bubblegum. Do you think it smells like bubblegum? Oh, look at that. Do you see that? Wow, came out like that. Oh my God, bubble yum. Where's the bubble yum at? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I can't wait to do this later. It makes your lips baby smooth. Look at the box on the inside. It's all daisies and the like Lizzie's right there. I noticed that with this collection, the prices for their ColourPop stuff went up a little bit because these palettes, like the eyeshadow palette is usually like $18, $20. I think this was 22, but they came through with the packaging. Like, like look at the packaging. So I think they just rose the prices a little bit more to give us amazing awesome packaging like look like look at that this is shiny like and you see that and it's all indented and super shiny super early 2000s so they rose up the prices but we're getting better quality let's do the blush and I think I got the darkest one which is you are magnifico there was two of them there was like a light pink and a darker pink look at it look at the packaging it's so pretty there's that that then oh, it has 
sparkles in it. Can you see the sparkles? Oh, yes, you can. Look at the sparkles. Look at the sparkles. Oh, I don't even like blush. I will wear blush for Lizzie McGuire. Hi, I see you. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's so freaking cute. Am I totally on, on trend right now or are these butterflies just annoying? I don't know. I love them. I wish I could wear this, you know, everywhere to work, but you know, society doesn't think that's wise, so we're not gonna do it. And then I got a gel cream liner to add a little pop of color in my inner waterline. So I got that in the color fluffy. It's fluffy, huh? Oh, look at those little stars. The packaging is so on point with ColourPop. Yeah, and it's just a, a pink eyeliner for, let's see, right, right here, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Why do I always break everything? Why? Anyways, let's try that again. Yeah, see, it's just a pink eyeliner for the waterline, and these stay all day. It's pretty color. Just wanted something that would complement and let's get into the palette. And this palette is called What Dreams Are Made Of. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. I've got somewhere I belong. I've got somebody to love. Yeah. <sighs> Memories. I was like, I remember coming home from school every single day and watching Lizzie McGuire or re-watching the movie over and over again and I learned every single lyric of the movie and of all her shows I would learn everything and it's just look oh my god how beautiful I don't think I have ever been so excited for a color pop release or you no know, baby Yoda a baby Yoda palette but this is this by far is my favorite favorite release ever like these colors are just so me so beautiful look at the green the pink the gold, the white gold, the shimmer, the purple, the lilac, the fuchsia. <sighs> Let's um, peel off Lizzie so she could see better. That even has a little cute mirror. Hi, I see you. And yes, it's so cute. So who's ready to play with this? Okay, guys, let's get into the tutorial. So I'm debating. Oh. Okay, I just looked at it. I was looking at it from the little screen, but wow, look at police. Police, do you see this color? Police. That is a press glitter. Look at that press glitter. Do you see that? Police. Police, do you see that? Wow, police. That is an amazing color. Okay, do you guys want swatches? So I have to say when I was swatching these, they glided on like butter. I don't know if ColourPop improved the formula. I think they did because these like shimmers are so buttery and creamy. And then the matte have a little sparkle and you can still see the sparkle in the mattes and it's just so pretty. So look, look at this swatches. Look at those colors. Do you see them? Like they match my butterflies. Wow, wow, matching. So this one is Digital Bean Outfit Repeater. So mature, don't freak. Hello, fabulous. Audi, dear diary, outfit remember, done and done, please, bye bye, bye bye. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Digital Bean, which is the bright purple one, with a fluffy brush just like that. This is the Araceli brush in Chiquita Blending. I love the Araceli Beauty brand. Beautiful. Even if it has my name, it's still, it's still really good. So I'm gonna start off with Digital Bean, that fluffy brush. Oh, let me zoom you guys in. I'm just gonna start in the outer corner. Ooh, it's not as pretty as I thought it was going to be, but maybe I just need it. Oh, there we go. There it is. I just needed to re-dip. And you do get a lot of fallout, but it's not bad. Can you guys tell I'm so excited for this eyeshadow palette? Oh my god. These colors are so me too. These purples and greens are just gorgeous. Yeah, let's go out. No, I'm going to drag the whole thing in. So I'm just gonna dip in again, digital bean, dip in, ba, darken up that outer crease into the inner crease right here. I want more of the pigment right here in the outer thing. I'm gonna do like a fake cut crease with this beautiful purple right here, which is Hello Fabulous. So I'm just gonna grab Hello Fabulous with a little flat paddle brush like this. I'm sorry if I like start to, my voice starts to go out. I've been screaming all day at work, you know, cause wearing masks is not fun. And you're trying to direct guess what to do. And then I'm just gonna go in here. Oh, this is gorgeous color. You guys see that? See it? 
So I'm still with the same color, Hello Fabulous. Just putting this like this. I'm gonna create like a cut crease to it. Oh, that's pretty. This formula is a way better formula. Better than the Fade Into Hue palette by ColourPop. I actually did a video on it too. Here's the video of it right there. That's the video that I did. I came up with amazing eyes, but this formula of eyeshadow works 10 times better than that palette. I feel like they might have cheapened it a little bit because it was so many colors, but this, everything is so creamy and beautiful and so bright. Okay, so I have hooded eyes. So this is a trick for people who have hooded eyes. So you always have to go above your crease to create your your crease your crease so it makes your eye look bigger than it actually is when you have smaller eyes okay so if you had concealer I'm just doing this a fast way because it's like midnight and you know I gotta wake up early and go to work you will get concealer you will put concealer like this you will look down look up and you would create the line of your crease and then you just follow that line with concealer and go all the way like this all the way around and then you would put the color on top and your concealer would stick the color would stick to the concealer the eyeshadow would stick and make it look cut crease but this is a way to fake the cut crease where you just get color all along the line it would be make sure all the colors right there we're gonna go with like a little angled brush just like that super super sharp and flat you go back to your original color which is right here which was digital bean and then you're just going to outline digital bean with what you just did and now you got a cut crease. So easy, so simple. Anyone can do this. This palette has a lot of fallout. I don't know if you could tell it has a lot of fallout, but it's okay. It was like $22 for, for 12 eyeshadows, which isn't bad. So then I'm just gonna put Digital Bean and I'm gonna mix Digital Bean with this color right here, which is Outfit Repeater. And I'm gonna do the lower lash line. lower lash line just like that there is one eye completed okay so what I'm gonna do is just gonna just gonna buff this out I'm actually gonna I'm gonna use this this one right here this really pretty color right here because I really like it outfit repeater just gonna lightly dust into it and then buff it out just like that Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like this. I actually really like this. I want to make this part a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go into this one right here, which is Outfit Remember. This one is the creamiest one. Like you literally go like that and look at, look at that. Look at how creamy it is. Do you see that? I kind of just want to put it in the middle. Okay, I went all the way. Just kidding. Look. Okay, yes. Yes, 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 that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna dust this fallout off and I'm gonna go to the next eye. Okay, I dusted it off and nothing stayed on, so you're good. So if you already did your face, it's fine. Just gotta dust it off. That is the eye so far. That's cute, okay, let's do a green. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this pretty color right here. It has some sparkles, if you can see it, it's gorgeous. This one, this is So Mature. We're gonna dip into So Mature and then I think I'm gonna outline Oh, I love this. Look at the glitter. I want to say this formula of the matte with the glitter has to be my favorite. It is just blends beautifully and just so pigmented. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So I just want to do a little bit like that because I want to focus on the green on this side. And then I'm going to go over it with this one, which is Don't Freak. And then on top, I'm going to put this one, which is Dear Diary. I'm debating how to do this. I'm just gonna follow my gut instinct. So I'm gonna start with Don't Freak right here. Don't Freak. Get like that much from the brush, just like that. Ooh, yes, this is what I wanted, okay. This one I wanna make it a little bit smaller. Haha, <laughs> that is actually what I wanted to do. I wonder if I can intensify it if I put it on my finger like that. I wonder if, yep, it's a lot brighter with your finger. See that? Cause why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Cause why not? Why not? Do a crazy dance. If you lose a moment, you can lose a lot. So why not? Why not? Why not? Now that I like hear all the songs of her and Lizzie McGuire and all this and that, they're a little cringy. I don't know how like, you know, 11 year old me listened to it, but I did. 
I so did every single day. I was always into my feelings with her. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. So I'm just going over it. I'm going a little bit more on the inner corner right here. And then I'm just going over this like dot. Just sweep it over with your actual crease. You see, okay, this is what I'm talking about, hooded eyes. This is me following my actual crease. This is me elevating my crease to make my eye look bigger. You see how this eye looks bigger than this side? This is because I followed my hooded eyes. And this is because I made my crease look bigger. You see the difference? Bigger eye, smaller eye. You see? Makeup. Power of makeup. This right here is so early 2000s eye. Like that. Just like that. Cute. Okay, I'm just gonna go underneath the lower lash line. Just gonna swipe it with the same brush. And then I'm gonna get Dear Diary and just follow my little crease that I made just to intensify the green. Beautiful. Just like that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my god, I love this green. It's so neon. Okay, I know it looks crazy and it, it probably doesn't look put together, but when I put the eyelashes on and put everything else on, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that, that actually came together. Let me dust this off and fix up the eye. Hold on. So I'm gonna go back into this one, which is so mature, just like that. Just try to blend it out a little more. But why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Then I'm gonna get a little tiny fluffy brush like this. I'm gonna go into bye bye, which is this one, bye bye. And then I'm gonna go into it, dig into bye bye. I'm gonna do the inner corner right here. Lighten it up a little bit with bye bye. Make that a super bright inner corner, just like that. Ooh, bright, okay. So I'm gonna go into police and see if this pressed glitter actually works. I'm gonna put it over the green. Oh, this is cute. It's just like a little added sparkle moment. Oh, that's cute actually. I, I actually really like that. Let me blend it out. Sorry guys if these aren't like the most detailed eye looks there is on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot, a lot with more details, but I just wanted to do something that's true to me and this is more true to me. I would wear this eye and I would wear this eye. I love it. So I wanted to do something fast, but something that you guys can create really easy. None of these steps are hard. I just keep going over it, darken up the color, make sure everything's blended. Of course, I did the inner corner. If you can see it, that's a bright inner corner. And I used about four colors on this and about three colors on this eye. All I'm doing is getting my gel cream liner now. See my gel cream liner. I made it pink. <laughs> now I got pink lower lash lines. Let me zoom you out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, that's cute. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna go put on some lashes and we're gonna see the transformation in three, two, one. Okay, here is the completed look as you can see with the eyes. So you see, so it came together at the ends with the eyelashes. I always feel like eyelashes just make everything look so much better. And I just blended it all together and popped on the lash and that is... And those are the eyes! Isn't it cute? I, I really liked it. I like how it came together. I got two different eyes, two different looks, two different styles, but I feel like it works. It works together. Okay, let's do the blush. And you are magnifico. There is no blush on here. I just got a big, huge, fluffy brush like this. This is by Farah. Then I'm just gonna dip into this pretty bubblegum pink with a lot of glitter in it. It's okay, I like glitter today. And I'm not a big blush person, but we're gonna see today how it is oh it's very intense very glittery i have glitter all over my face you see that glitter wow i mean it's cute but i still think blush makes me look like a clown but you know what we're embracing it today because it's lizzie mcguire do i look like a clown now just a little on the nose oh, this is actually a cute look so let me turn down the light for you okay so that's how the blush looks you can see it's very bright. That is how it is. All I need is some lip gloss. Oh, actually, I have this. So they actually had one of these glittery obsessed in their collection. I'm going to put it up right now. They had a pink one and a clear one, but I already had this. So I was like, I'm just going to open mine and use it since I haven't used it. This is in, this is in Homecoming, if you could see it. And it's just like an iridescent, sparkly white color. I think I'm going to do it like use it as a highlight. I just didn't want to buy it because it literally was the same thing. I think the other one was just a little more pink. 
And it smells so good. It smells fresh. Oh, this has a little mirror too. Oh, okay, I'm gonna use a little mirror. Oh my God, that blush is so glittery. It's not my cup of tea, but I like it for this look. The blush looks really, really cute with this look. Put it right here. <laughs> wow, we went there. We, we went for it today, didn't we? We just ran with it today. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this much glitter or blush on me. I don't even use blush. This is a lot. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. We, we went there. This is so 2000s, 90, but you know what? We're living for it. <laughs> this is cute. I'm just gonna go back into the blush and try to blend this out a little bit. So what do you guys think of this look? Oh wait, I'm missing, I'm missing the lip gloss lip gloss remember i told you guys didn't have any but i have a bunch of lip gloss so so i'm gonna use this for my collection this one this is from la colors i really 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 like this lip gloss it's really pretty smells good it's very shimmery it was only a dollar a dollar tree and it's so cute to look at the shimmer it's not the same effect but gloss is a gloss it's a gloss and here's the look how is it? Is it totally Lizzie McGuire vibes? I mean, I think it is. At least it's like early 2000s vibe. That's the look right there. That side right there. What do you guys, what do you guys think? You guys like it? Don't like it? Let me know. Okay, let me give you my, my honest thoughts about everything. The blush. I actually do kind of like how it looks, except it's super, super glittery. And I don't think I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably want it. <laughs> use it to be honest with you guys but it's a collector's item and it's lizzie mcguire on it so i'm gonna keep it and let's see if it, it has no smell it's just really pretty it kind of reminds me of like kids makeup but it's super cute it's it's cute it's a collector's item i'm gonna keep it the lip scrub i'm super excited for it smells just like bubble gum look look at that Oh, it smells like bubble yum. Like it smells so I can't wait to when I take off this makeup right now and just lather this on my lips and scrub it away because I swear I have chap looks like crazy. My lips are always chapped. Glitter that they were selling, you don't really need. I mean I had the same I literally had the same thing from ColourPop. It was just a different color, but glitter is glitter, right? Lastly, the palette. The lip glosses, I would have rated them if they were here, but they weren't. When I went to my car, everything was sold out. Whatever. This is a beautiful palette worth $22. Yes, heck yes, because you get all these colors, bright colors, and then you can also do like a very neutral. I just didn't new do a neutral look because it's not, it's not Lizzie. You know, it's not Lizzie. Her dreams are not made of neutrals, okay? They're not made of neutrals. They're made of brights and neons. Yes, hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. Yes, is this so cute why not why not take a crazy chance gotta take a crazy chance on this guys it is cute this purple beautiful 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 they all work amazing i mean look at the look we created and then look at the swatches like you could see how bright it is from over here you see do you see how bright they are they're bright collection worth it was i impressed yes uh will i repurchase it probably not but it's cute and i'm so happy that i got it it filled my lizzie mcguire dream it is very rare that a company does something like this where they do you know like something from your childhood right and repurpose it and remake it until you can use it now as an adult it's you know it's just nostalgic and disney and for me disney's everything if anyone knows me disney's everything to me and lizzie mcguire was everything to me as a little girl even though i'm almost 30 as a little girl I loved her and I had a lot of fun and I needed this little stress relief from the chaos of work and thank you guys thank you for coming to my channel my youtube channel if you guys haven't already go hit that little subscribe button down below if you guys like this video like the look that I created with the blush and everything go ahead and hit that like button it really helps me out it helps you to put out this video into the web and help this girl out help my little channel grow and with that guys remember to like share this video hit that little notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys i love you okay see you later hey now hey now this is what dreams are made of bye hey now hey now this is what dreams are made of i've got somewhere i belong i've got somebody to love this is what dreams are made of hey now hey now hey, hey, hey. okay guys <laughs>